pop 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 gin and a man boys isn't that right mm, to be Hell yeah Hell yeah, it's PUBG Night. Hell yeah, it's PUBG Night. What's up, guys? So, yeah, um... Remember that video, uh, during the other day where I showed you guys my PC build and I told you guys at the end that I'll showcase my peripherals, the keyboard, the mouse, the headset on another video? This is that video. Okay. And, um, it, I think it's pretty obvious. It's it's gonna feature Aces stuff because I'm... Wearing the sh the cap, the, the shirt, and uh... Hell yeah! Did you guys just see my dirty laundry over there? Who cares? So, yep! Um, before... Yep! Don't, guys, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Guys, I know you came here for a PUBG game, and I will give you a PUBG game, but just, just give me a, a few moments just to showcase you guys my new keyboard and mouse. I ha- I, I just got this out from the box! I haven't even tried it yet. All right, so um, this is the ROG Strix Flare, R ROG Strix Flare, yeah, ROG Strix Flare, and this is the ROG Pujo mouse. But our attention will be here in the keyboard. Okay, so this is a new line of Asus keyboards, the uh, keyboards. It's a it's a Cherry MX Blue keyboard. I can't, for some reason, it's it's it's, it's stuck there. I can't. <laughs> there you go. See, told you they were freaking blue. There you go. Nice. And all right. So, uh, what's so special about this keyboard? I don't know. It, it, it's it's this one. You can remove this one and you can customize it with uh, something new. It's uh it's Aura Sync uh enabled so that you can sync your 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 Aura peripherals with your Aura PC over there. And stuff like that. I, I wish I could show you guys how the Aura Sync works, but for some reason my Aura software screwed up on me on this night. Okay, and I think I only have like a few more minutes before I, I, I host my custom matches for tonight's Twitch stream. But anyway, other than that, uh, it has this volume scroll and stuff like that. Hey, hey, it's pretty cool. Oh, another thing, you can detach the wrist, wrist thingy. See that? Hell yeah. Ain't that awesome? So what I'm pretty much saying is that it's stylish. It looks cool. But on the technical side, it has around 50 million clicks of MX switches. So it's perfect for someone like me who likes to rage and rage and rage. See that? Oh god, what happened there? Okay, uh, I think I busted my PC for some reason. But uh, yeah. Very clickety clacky. I like it. As for the ROG Puja mouse, uh, I like it as well. It, it, it reminds me of the Cerberus. If you ask me, my favorite is still the Cerberus, but this is a close, this is a close competitor. You know, it, it, it has the RGB lighting and all that stuff. It's almost as small. Yeah, actually, it's as small as a, as a Cerberus. It has the same buttons here. I think the only thing that the Cerberus has that beats this mouse. It has three DPI settings. This one only has two. So like, that's one. And that's it. Okay, in the, in the Cerberus mouse, you can you can have like three DPI settings. So according to Asus, this is your rifle themed um, peripherals. There's a sniper theme, there's a shotgun theme. I think the shotgun has the, the ROG uh, Cerberus keyboard. The sniper one has the ROG Claymore one, while the other ones have different mouse pairs as well it's it's it, that's pretty much it as for the rifle i also have this one the this one this i don't know <laughs> so yeah it's just a really cool keyboard cool yeah, that's pretty much it okay so that's it so uh, i'm gonna show you guys some action now it's all rifle custom games all freaking night and at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys my final review on this keyboard as well as some mechanics on how to avail of these shirts. Yeah, I'm giving away shirts. I'm not giving away the keyboard though, but I'm, I am giving away shirts. So yeah, if you're interested in that, you just watch the whole video. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play. Actually, I want to try the M4 M4. Try kong alito. Let's see. Mm, gotta work on that spray. Ito manok lang. Ito manok lang. Ay, putang ina ng lakas. 
Nasang ano ko? <laughs> Napindot ko ano ano One more time <laughs> ah, Hirap Ay, Lahat ba ng pro ganun ginagawa nila? Fuck dude I need a bigger mouse pad Kaya nga <laughs> Ang hirap Here they come Oh, I'm gonna count the game. Oh, I'm gonna count the game. I'm gonna count the game. I'm gonna count the game. I'm gonna count Wala na ba? Tumaba na ba? Alam mo, puta, lusubi na kaya natin sila at oh, matapos na. Yan. Ano bang mga problema nyo? Oh, ito na, oo. Oh, oh. oh, mamamatay tayo lahat dito. Mamamatay kayo. Oh, kayo magbuhay niyan. Ayaw ko na, ayaw na, ayaw na. Cover ko kayo. Ha 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 and it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks, guys, since I first opened or used these peripherals. So I'm gonna give you guys my final verdict. All right, let's start off with the keyboard, with the awesome keyboard. Let's go. Okay, so back at it again with the Asus ROG Strix Flare keyboard. So there's just one thing that I really think that's very special about this keyboard. And it's not the RGB, you know, it's something I haven't experienced in the keyboard before and that's this one It has a USB port Behind it and it's really really convenient for me because because back then when um, When I didn't have this keyboard. Oh my god. This is the wrist wrist by the way It's 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 detachable as I told you guys before before I will just Use this. Uh, I would plug on. I plug in my USB cables behind the system unit, and I would just reach there and then just ah oh man, it's just gonna clutter everything. By the way, look at that cable management. Hell yeah! So see, now I just need to plug it in here behind this one, and then that's it. It's gonna charge. It's gonna transfer files and stuff like that. It's it's very handy. Uh, that's the that's one thing that I really like about this keyboard. It's just it's just very convenient. And yeah, it just looks really pretty. Because I can make it wide or not by just removing the wrist rest. See that? It's cool. I like it. That, that's it. And uh, plus, I didn't have to. Um, uh, I didn't have to adjust that much uh, with transitioning from my old keyboard to this one because it just feels so nice. It's just it just feels so natural. You know, my my, my hands are in the right place. My fingers are in the right places every time I play and. Um, the buttons are very respons very very responsive so it's all good all right it just it's it it doesn't feel different from my old keyboard it's just very nice all right now next uh, the keyboard i mean the mouse the, the pujo pujo all right now um, after 2 weeks of using this the only thing that uh, that that annoys me or bothers me is that it's actually it's actually catered for claw grippers okay for those who are not familiar with with the claw grip it's like there see like a claw like, like a claw all right i am actually a palm gripper so i like I, I i like resting my whole palm on the mouse now for a mouse like this being a palm gripper is kind of inconvenient because i keep hitting these ones, this, these buttons, and these buttons are very responsive as well. Okay, it's just, it's just, it's just really, really easy to click them. So if you're a claw gripper, this is the perfect mouse for you. But if you're a palm gripper, I would stick for the to the Asus Cerberus mouse. 
But still, it's it, it feels still it still feels nice. It's that's that's the only problem. I I keep clicking this one. <laughs> so yeah, you have to be careful if you're a palm gripper. But slowly, I think I'm slowly becoming a claw grip because of of this mouse. So yeah, claw grip is nice. Now another cool thing about this mouse that I haven't showed you yet is that you can actually remove the buttons here and replace it with something. It comes with replacement buttons, so. It, 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 I, I can't really show it right now because I think I lost them, but still, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's attached by magnet, so it just goes there. See? No problem. Quite easy. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Boom! <laughs> Yay! Now, one last thing, guys, okay? I mentioned that these are Aura-enabled, okay? It has Aura capabilities. If For those who are not familiar with Aura, it's something that only Asus has. And it, um, it's basically with the motherboard that we're using right now. It's Aura enabled. So that means you can control the colors of the RGB. You can make it uh, breathe. You can make it uh, blink and stuff like that. You can make it uh, sync with music and stuff like that. So uh, to give you guys a demonstration of how it, uh, how it goes, here's the Aura software. So let's see uh, all right so let's try these effects let's try the static first so we're gonna go for a red color so once i click apply boom red even my mouse is red the motherboard and everything on the chassis is also red so that's pretty cool so let's try another one um i like comet comet is pretty cool click apply boom see see that it sinks to the mouse, boom. Sinks to the mouse, and then off to there. <laughs> Wait, let me just show you a bit how it looks like. Boop. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I'm very sorry for the clutter on my desk though. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna try the music effect this time. So I've set it to normal, which means the hour sync lights will follow the beat of the music you're playing. So we're gonna try this one, all right? Pay attention. Okay. See that? Hell yeah. Even the motherboard is reacting. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the only thing cool about this. <laughs> and that's it guys so uh, what do you guys think about the products uh, are they are they cool are they majestic well they're definitely aesthetically pleasing but hey um, when it comes to performance you know I have no complaints except for the Pujo the Pujo is meant for claw grippers I'm not a claw gripper all right but other than that, it's pretty cool. The, the weight is nice, uh, the size is nice, the feel of the keyboard is also cool, the light isn't really distracting at all. It's just really, really cool. Yeah, so I'm giving both of these peripherals a gold award. Hell yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, uh, I almost forgot. I am giving away Asus shirts on my Twitch channel, so be sure to go there and rack up those pack points. I'm gonna give away a twi uh, sorry, an Asus shirt probably every month, so we'll see. All right, guys. So just go to my Twitch channel and uh, wait for the mechanics there. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you guys have any questions about this, uh, these peripherals, just leave them in the comments below. Or if you want to learn more about them, go to the uh, to the product links in the description there below just scroll down yeah you might find the price there as well so I have no idea how much these cost out in the market so just google it yeah. so is there anything else I'm, I'm forgetting oh yeah I am I am for oh, ouch uh, yeah see this thing this glowy thing I did mention that you can remove it right <laughs> Watch this. Boom! Custom made um, emblem thingy. So see, you now have a personalized keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you can put like a, like a specimen slide here from your microscope or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Have you seen my cool wallpapers? Holy crap. Look at that.